give us some initial thoughts on, on as far as the visual, how did the original scr uh, scroll compare, as far as the vision goes, compare with, with what we're seeing now? Okay, there's, there's actually a couple of uh, interpretations. Okay. The, the, the interpretation that most readers of Revelation get is that we're talking about a book. Okay. You, know, you could just open a seal and get to a certain part. That is, is clearly not the case. It was definitely a scroll. The, the word used in the, the Greek text is, is, is biblos, which means scroll. Okay. So, so this interpretation, when uh, a king, for example, would send a message to someone, he would put a seal, uh, a, a thread around it or a string around it and seal it with his seal. And that That's way it amazing. could not be opened until that seal was broken. And if the seal were broken, then, then uh, you couldn't rely upon the message that was in there. Okay. With seven seals, uh, if, if you take the interpretation in this way, uh, every single one of the seals has to be opened before you actually can read what, what's inside, okay. which is you know, basically the uh, history of the world and, and, and uh, the culmination of, of uh, the history with the second coming of Christ. And I think that's one reason why for us it's easier to understand this because we can separate out the first coming, the second coming, and with the help of the restoration, uh, there's so many more details that we can understand it. First of all, we're in the, after the yeah. opening of the seventh seal, yeah. but we don't understand the whole thing until the Lord comes. Exactly.